Hello and welcome to Trappist Nation. My name is Andreas and today we will be reviewing La Trappe Blonde. La Trappe Brewery was established in 1881 by French monks of Montecat. Over the years, the beers from the Abbey have been brewed by different uh, breweries and it's finally brought them in conflict with the International uh, Trappist uh, Association uh, who revoked the La Trappe, uh, the right to use the uh, ATP product logo. However, the monks uh, got their house in order and took back the uh, supervisory control uh, of the brewery. So in 2005, La Trap could once again proudly display the ATP logo on their labels. One of the beers the Abbey kept brewing during this uh, merry-go-around time uh, was uh, the uh, La Trap Blonde. Uh, it all started out in 1928 when the uh, beer Litsch was introduced uh, as a slight beer with 4% alcohol, uh, one of the first commercial beers that La Trappe brewed. Uh, before it was brewed for the public, it was simply called an Enkel, uh, which meant it was the uh, table beer that the monks uh, drank. But uh, over the years it's been involved uh, and today it's known as uh, La Trappe Blonde. Uh, the recipe has of course uh, been altered a fair bit since the 1920s, but the DNA is the same uh, almost uh, 100 years later. Uh, La Trappe have a wide range of beers uh, and to be completely honest, La Trappe Blonde might not be the best of the beers they have to offer, but Let's find out how it tastes. It has a nicely fresh fruity aroma. Uh, it's blend nicely with the sweet smells of, uh, of malt and, and spices. The taste is slightly sweet, slightly bitter, slightly malty, slightly <laughs> yeasty, a little bit of everything. It was a nice fruity scent with a little bit of citrus in the end. So what's my verdict? I will give this one a 3.2 out of 5. A perfect beer for a perfect summer evening. Thank you guys. Next week we will have a treat for you. We will be reviewing no other beer than Orval. Stay tuned, take care and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers!